Fun fact about the jury that I didn't know until I started making this video. I mean, I have nearly 2,500 kills on this thing and I, I didn't know this. So originally there was no slug ammo on the jury because it, it didn't make sense. Uh, the jury itself is a shotgun slash pistol caliber carbine. And the difference between the 45 long Colt and the 410 slug in a video game setting is nothing. What different stats would you give it? But regardless, at some point they added slugs and they sucked. They were terrible. I think I remember them having a uh, slightly longer headshot kill range, but no torso kill range. Well, at some point, uh, back when we had a dictator, uh, it was buffed in a really strange way that made it a direct upgrade to the default ammo with no downsides. So uh, instead of going through and, you know, trying to adjust the weapon to make it better, they just did that. And it really wasn't even sufficient to make this weapon good. It's just now this weapon sucks and you need to either grind or pay to get a slight upgrade to it. So, you know, round of applause for the great balancing. Anyways, as I've said, even with the direct upgrade, this weapon objectively still sucks. But I've been having some fun with it recently, sort of like a challenge. Recommended attachments are on screen, yes I'll explain the grip choice later. Pro tip, if you're struggling with the jury, they added this little cheat code you can click on, which uh, magically makes it easier to use. Although I didn't use it in the video, this is probably the only situation where a shotgun conversion is just better than the default weapon. I have no idea why this thing gets a higher velocity than the slugs, generally it's the other way around if you look at any other shotgun in the game. It also increases the projectile count compared to the buckshot, which again is completely different from how all the other shotguns in the game work. It's just reeking with inconsistency. Uh, regardless, I still wouldn't consider it overpowered because at longer distances you'll just get lasered by the meta. Great for mid range though. Rant over, back to slug. Upsides, this weapon will headshot kill at all ranges and torso kill up to 31 studs. However, it only has a five round magazine, its reload is slow, the recoil is high, and the velocity is low. A 300 RP PM torso kill might sound good, but the range is so low that if someone happens to appear at the other end of the room, you'd still have to shoot them twice, which is two fifths of your entire magazine. But good luck doing that against a competent player with an auto. The recoil can also completely obscure your vision, and if you miss, you will likely die. The strongest points for this gun are extremely close range and long range, but this is only if you're able to throw a rock at someone's head from 200 studs. Luckily I can. I like to use the Malcolm 3X because the recoil with non-zoom in optics just completely obscures your vision and you aren't able to utilize the fire rate. At the same time, the Malcolm 3X is a low magnification and it takes up a large portion of your screen so that way you can see a lot more than you would with other optics. Okay, the grip. I found that the pistol grip really helps with the jury's weird recoil because it prevents the scope from, well, lobotomizing you. Your chances of a successful procedure can be drastically improved with the addition of a muzzle brake and laser. Overall, just use the SL9. This gun needs a buff, but that's basically impossible at this point. If it were to happen, I'd suggest a significantly faster reload and reduced recoil. Even if it got these things, it would likely still never see the light of day in most servers. At least not without flechette. <laughs>